Hi, and welcome to the seventh video about the development of Virtual Row, a strategy game with isometric graphics I'm creating on my own. In this video, I'm going to show you the three main features I introduced recently, but before doing that, let me show you what the game looked like two weeks ago after my previous update. One of the main features I introduced last time was autonomous moving for the units. Another one was the ability to order units to conquer multiple cells. There was also more than that, so you can watch the devlog number 6 if you want to know more about these two features or if you want to check out the other ones. But now let's go back to the present. The main focus for this update was to improve the features I introduced last time with some kind of visual feedback. Now, when moving a unit, there is an indicator that shows you when a destination is walkable and how much energy will cost you to get there, if the cell is visible at least. The energy cost doesn't have any real effect at the moment, but it's something that's going to be very important in this game, so expect to hear more about it soon. Another new visual feedback is the one showing the cells that are going to be conquered by a unit when you schedule a multiple cell conquest. Also in this case, the last cell shows the energy cost for the whole operation. A difference with the previous indicator is that this one stays active until the conquest is completed, so you can keep track of the progress while your unit is still working on it. Another new feature is actually a double feature. I will introduce a new material, diamonds, that will be used to create units and structures, but unlike the other resources, they can be mined. You need to find and collect them with your units. To do that, you just need to move a unit over them. Diamonds regenerate over time in these yellow zones, but the regeneration period changes every time, so it's hard to predict where they will appear again. That was all for now, so it's time to talk about what I'm planning to do next. To be honest, I haven't decided yet, but I was thinking to go for one of the following features. A first option would be to start to implement the construction of defensive structures, like walls and towers. A second option would be to start to work on the energy mechanics for the units and maybe also on some RPG elements, like experience points and upgrades. Which one will you choose? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see what I'm going to do in my next devlog video. See ya!